Okay, y'all, I'm back. Hey, everyone. Hi. Okay, y'all, um, if this is your first time stopping by, please hit that subscribe button. Or if you stopped at by several times and haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure you do it now. And give this video a thumbs up because it is a Hertz unboxing video. So weird. Here's the box. Here it is. I got this pretty damn quickly, to be perfectly honest. So I'm really happy about that. Um, yeah, it was, I think it only took like three days to get here. And we're going to unbox it. And it's so funny because um, I got this box the same day I did my video, uh, my announcement of my 500 subscribers giveaway. And later on tonight, because it's the same day, I uploaded that video and hung out for a few hours, um, took all my, took my face off because I ain't wearing no makeup right now. And later on, took the dogs off, but I've been chill all day on my day off. I've been doing a serious binge watch of Fear the Walking Dead season six. So I just been chilling at home and took the dogs out. And this is what I found on my steps. So <laughs> in one day although I don't know if I'm gonna upload it tonight I definitely will edit it tonight it's not late I'm just I'm just lazy um but yeah I'm still still got my wine oh still my California root sangria um I I have read some of the comments and I don't know if I said in the last video but the giveaway is gonna run from Thursday to Thursday a whole week and I'll announce the winner um Friday so, yeah, I don't know if I said that in the last video or not. Let's see. Let's see. I'm so excited. Let's get this started. Okay, let's not spill the wine. And I've been reading some of the comments so far. So cute. Someone asked me if I was a Washington Redskins or they recognized I was a Washington Redskins fan. And I was like, how do they know? <laughs> yes, big time Washington Redskins fan. And I'm going to stay a fan. I don't care how much they're losing. And just gotta hang in there with them. Anyway, though, let's see, let's see. Okay. So, let's see. Now. Okay, let me back up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I'll put this in my lap. Bring it a little closer. Let's see. Now I always complain about Hertz. Then, um, so this will be, I think, the second or third time I've ordered from them. So let's see. But off of the bat, their wrapping looks like it's improved. Okay, got some bubble wrap. We got some heat pads in here. Okay. Oh, and here's the first plant wrapped in bubble wrap. so cute um forgive me if i don't know all the names of it um there's no invoice and i didn't bring my computer in because i was so excited or my ipad in um but this looks like this that watermelon I i'll put the name up on the screen but i really wanted one of these and it's so cute and i finally got it and y'all y'all probably like don't bother taking off the tape on the camera or whatever but I just want to check and see because you know, you never know what hurts. Um, okay. Someone has really taken a lot of time to really box this up, to package this. Um, I get the maxing tape. Okay, it's cute. It's cute. Um, there's no... There's no little stick in it or sticker to tell me what it is, um, but it's really pretty. It's cute. It's not damaged. I see some new growth. Okay. All right. So first plant, a success. I'll put the name up. It's watermelon something. I can't remember. So there's that bubble wrap. So it looks like they individually wrap each plant. Okay. ordering this. <laughs> this I don't remember it. I have to check my invoice. I do not remember or, um, ordering this at all. 
I probably did though. Maybe I just forgot. Maybe I was drinking too much wine. But this is a ash, uh, uh, ash. This is a eyelash begonia. It's very pretty. Very pretty. I don't know if you guys can see those red spectacles. It's really nice. So, um, it does look like it has one dying leaf in. I don't know, that might have been before. But it looks like it was packaged nice. I'm going to take the masking tape off as I go because I know me. Once this video's over, y'all, I'm not going to come back to these plants. These plants are going to sit here until tomorrow morning. So I'm going to take it off now because I'm going to leave them all here in my diva room. Oh, uh, but I have to be careful. Okay. Got to be careful. And plus, I really want to... Ha, 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 ha. Okay. All right, there we go. So one more look at the eyelash begonia. It's very beautiful. I don't remember ordering the begonia, but I'm glad I had that. It's kind of scary. Okay. This I did order. I do remember ordering this one. This is my boss, is a Boston fern. <sighs> Ferns just keep sucking me in. It's another, um, this one has saran wrap or sticky wrap or clean wrap, that's what it's called around it. So, um, I don't like how they match just this one because it all has, so has, just gotta be careful here. Sorry, I'll fast forward. Okay. Okay. Looks like this is in some sort of sphagnum moss. And uh, it looks like this needs probably needs to be watered. I'm going to fluff her out. See, it was so freaking pretty. And it said very holiday-ish to me. And we do have some damaged leaves uh, and I think that's from packaging uh, so I have to do a little pruning but this is the Boston Furs and that's all I see so I'm not going to really complain that much because you know and I, I don't like how this one was packaged but I don't know how I would have packaged it so okay I did order this one so whoop. Boston Fern let's hopefully I can keep it alive Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, this one is really, leaves are falling off, that's one, that's two, <sighs> sometimes I'll be like, put it in another box, you charge me $25, this one is really watered log, so this is, this is soaked in water, um, was there a little, another oh yeah here it is um uh, yeah there's no name on this simple collection feature in this plant is very easy to care for a place in the bright light blah 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 yep there's no name on it so i would have to look at the invoice but i will leave it at the write it in on the bottom of the screen and this is another plant i've wanted for a long time this is a type of palea uh palea but uh, it was packaged. So we have a lot of damaged uh, leaves here. Stems are just broken. This plant is, it, it, I think it's over watered. Um, yeah, this is, this plant for some reason is soaked. There's another leaf fall off, fell off. Okay, it's really pretty. It is soaked. Like, I think I could probably squeeze some water out. Uh, lots of broken leaves, and this is all from the packaging. It was packaged. Um, they laid it down. And I, I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt here because I guess with this type of plant, um, this type of 
stems. These are very delicate stems. They can break in when you're packaging like this. It's, I'm okay. I ain't going to trip on Hertz. I ain't going to trip. Because the overall plant is really beautiful. It's really healthy um, looking. The only thing I'm really scared about now is that it really is um, overwatered. And I don't know what to do about that. So, But it, it's, a, it's a gorgeous plant. Any more? I just want to get the little ones out because I feel like they're getting crushed. Okay. This is a philodendron. Once again, I don't know the name of it because this one doesn't have a little sticky in it. But it is a type of a philodendron and so pretty. When I saw it on the website, I think it was on sale. And um, usually when I see this, usually out of stock all right hurts so i'm mad this one is wrapped well this is a very easy plant to wrap um look at that again soaking wet i don't know maybe they thought it was they just wanted to make sure i don't know but it does have some new growth coming out of it um i, I bet you these were all freshly placed in these nursery pots too because yeah, there's no roots growing out of any of the bottom of it. I don't know, because this one is bone dry. Like, the begonia needs to be watered, but I guess you don't. I don't know. It's soaking wet. I'm kind of happy with it. It's it's nice. I don't see no damages. I'm not complaining about Hurts right now. I mean, I do got one, two, from the last plant, though. A bunch of broken leaves. That's, that's, that's upsetting. Here's another philodendron. This is the, um, I really wanted this one. This is the limelight philodendron. And I don't have any of these. So I'm really excited to have this philodendron. And again, this masking tape. I mean, I guess it does, it does do its job. I don't have a lot of spillage of soil. In fact, the only spillage I'm getting out of this is when I take the tape off. So Pepper's in here. Pepper, you're in here? Pepper? I thought Pepper popped up in here. Oh, she did. Okay, so I gotta keep these out of her reach. Okay, I got one more. I'll take a drink. I got one more. It's the biggest one I, I ordered. I uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. I got six of these. This makes seven. I'm a sucker for alocasia. I'm a sucker for alocasia. Oh, wow. This one has some new leaves coming out of it. I'll tell you the name of this alocasia in a minute. I didn't get anything rare or exotic, which seems to be the trend of what's going on on YouTube right now. People are getting these rare and exotic um, plants. I did not, and I probably should so I can be in there with the trend, but I don't really have a wish list for rare and exotic plants yet. I just get what I like. Uh, rare and exotic plants to me these days are plants that I can't take care of. Us, AKA, Kalea. But this is beautiful. Y'all, look at this. I am really happy with Hertz. Hertz did a great job. Um, except there's no invoice in here. And all the identifications aren't on here. But I guess the get this out of sorry, just had to pick it up. But um all but this plant, um, it's really nice. Everything just came out really nice. I hear pepper chewing on something on my carpet. It all, and I'm really, really happy with this so far. So I'm going to get my invoice. And I'm going to see because I feel like something's missing. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'll be right back. 
Okay, yes, I am missing a plant. Um, and there's a plant. Okay. Okay, hey guys, I'm back. Um, I am, I'm not missing a plant. Um, they did not ship one of them. They actually refunded my money back. Um, I found that out because um, I also, while well, I was gone, because I pulled up my my order. Can't. And um, I had placed, I had took a picture as well of my orders when I had placed it because I've dealt with Hertz before. And I do have one plant missing, and it was, and it's the most expensive plant out of the bunch, uh, a twenty five dollar plant. I was kind of bummed that I don't have it. It kind of sucks, but. What really sucks a lot is, man, why didn't they tell me? Um, I actually had to go, I'm just like, because I was fuming. I was like, okay, y'all didn't send me a plant, and it's a $25 plant. But something said, you know, go online, check your bank account, and Hertz had credited me $35 back to my account. So I'm like, okay, so that's the shipping and everything with it. So I did get my money back. I just would have liked the little communications like, hey, currently this plan is no longer available. Um, we're going to go ahead and refund your money back. You should see that within 24 hours. And it's like, okay, cool, not a problem. Or, and I think that would have been nice, you know, and you know, you can add this plan to your wish list so you can know when it comes back and stop. Because, you know, a lot of websites do that. Hmm. I know I shouldn't be bumped out about it, but I am. But overall, this experience with Hertz has been a better experience than I've had in the past. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being really bad and 10 being really great, I'm going to give them a 7, a solid 7. And I hope you wonder why it's a 7. Um, 1, because, I mean, the plants did, overall the plants came in great condition, but I did receive some broken leaves because of packaging, and I have a couple of plants that are, um, overall I think the packaging was fine. Oh, my only concern is this one plant here, well, it's the only one that didn't get any water, so that takes another point off for me, and, um, no communication about my plant being canceled, and that's a big thing. You lose two points just for that for me. That is big. Um, but overall, I am, I'm, I'm pleased with them. Would I order from Hearst again? Yes, I would. Um, I would probably order smaller amounts though, or do two. Like instead of doing one big order of eight plants, maybe I would do one order of four and then place that order and then turn around and place another order of four. I don't know. I would do it kind of differently. Um, it's just that if you watch if you watch the, my past videos and I've I've had I had a subscriber send me a plant and she sent me this beautiful dumb cane plant and I had purchased it um, and she got it from her Walmart and she sent it to me and this this the packaging on that there was nothing wrong with that plant and it was a big huge plant and she had packaged it so well and she's not a professional who deals with plants every day but i don't want to bitch about it i don't want to complain come here pepper come here oh y'all oh <laughs> i don't know this is my <laughs> this is my boston terrier <laughs> i know right she is so freaking big <laughs> Um, Boston Terriers are supposed to weigh, um, anywhere from 10 to 25 pounds. And I have, my Boston Terrier is on the high end of that. Um, her ears have not popped up. And they usually will pop up on their own. And, uh, my husband and I have agreed if they don't, they don't. But, um, we looked into it and, well, I looked into it. Um, he wanted to crop them and I was like, I'm not cropping, I'm not cropping. That's not necessary. But there's this thing called taping where you can tape their ears and just the, sort of train the muscle to stay up without, um, it's painless to the dog, maybe just a little bit. 
uncomfortable for a couple of weeks and it's supposed to train them to stay up. Um, and you can get that done at your veterinarian or you can do it yourself. But she's just so cute, just the way she is. Look at that face. Look at that. Look at Pepper, look at the camera. She Okay, I want y'all to get a really good idea. I don't think Pepper... I thought Pepper had stopped growing and then she spurted on me. I don't, I don't know how to show you how big she is. Yeah, this is how big Pepper is. She's... This is this is my Boston Terrier. <laughs> and she does weigh like over 20 pounds. So, but she's my baby. Yes. Don't lick my face. She's my baby. Bye, Pepper. Bye. Can y'all see her? Um, she's not really heavy. She's tall. I don't I don't know, you know. Um, my friend Jillian has pugs and I thought Pepper was going to be like that pug. And, um, no, she's, she's, but I love her. So whatever. I don't care. Um, but I just thought you guys would like to see Pepper and that's the haul. This is the haul. Um, I guess should hold it up. <laughs> and I'm really smiling cause I'm really happy about this. And I was really excited to open this. And I know I got a thing. So I'm very happy. I got the alocasia. And like I said in my last video, the plant that I ordered was a Calathea. You know, it was a Devia. It was a, um, a Orb Calathea. Um, what's this? I, I just, I want that plant. I wanted that plant for a long time because it has the potential to be so huge. But I think if I ever get it, I'll get it as a full size plant already. That way I don't have to raise it. But this, but the plants that I do have, for the most part, they all came in great. Um, I think this is the baby watermelon one. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time for more drinking and playing. Eh -eh. Ah, I always say that, but y'all know the name. Well, it is drinking and playing.